to my friends dancing here. So today we are in Sungai Bolo. We are visiting an uh, agent's listing house. So this is Jonathan. Hello. So Jonathan is a professional real estate agent. So yeah, so so happened that Jonathan has a client that he wants to release the house after staying in, staying in for like 20 years. So today we are so lucky to be able to visit this house. Uh, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Yeah, it's like one in a million gem that we have. You can access to this kind of house. So Jonathan, uh, as per your experience in selling those houses, right? So there are ways to we can increase the capital appreciation when it comes to a subsidy house, right? Mm. So uh, today we're going to visit the house and we're going to highlight some of the features and to see what a multi-million bungalow looks like first. And then we're going to see what the potential of making over it to help it to sell it in an easier way and increase the capital appreciation. So let's go. Okay, so this is the entrance. We are entering the living room. Wow, look at this space. All the houses, right? One of the special things is it's never going to be designed generically. Always there's a unique team. And for this particular property, you can see the unique team is, is following a particular Malaysian heritage. So for the owner, when he bought this house, he wanted an open space concept. And then so happened that he's a Babang Yonge heritage. So he wanted to match his house to the Babang Yonge team that consists of like a, the timber wood. And then as you can see behind us, there's this nice multi-color uh, window glass. And you usually see this in like Melaka, Penang Street, right? So it's so nice to see this in the house. It's so tasteful. I think one of the nice features that uh, the owner used to renovate his house is that he added this bay window. Okay. Oh, we open the window. It's so nice. I mean, I think this is perfect for like MCO, during MCO time, right? I mean, I can just chew here and look at the trees and birds and grass. Now we're entering the homeowner's kitchen. So as you can see behind me, there's like a natural lighting right behind us. Really, you see all this kind of uh, natural lighting in home that they used to build architecturally. They just uh, intentionally uh, convert the roof into like the transparent roof, so we have a lot of natural lighting in the house. So this homeowner's kitchen, uh, this is solid surface, and the good thing about solid surface, you can do a curved round corner, so it's easy to clean. And this is like a one piece L shape. Yeah, the living room, there's a little outdoor garden right here. So this is where the homeowner usually having breakfast with his family right here. So and there's some small trails right outside there. Uh, this is very similar to like those Japanese garden concept where you have a stony and greenery stuff in the outside garden here. So we have looked through the houses, the living room, the dining room and then the kitchen. Now let's virtually make over it and see what the potential it could look like to fit into the latest interior trend.
So before we end this video, just want to say that this house is located in a place called Sierra Mas. So Sierra Mas is a exclusive residential area within Sungan Bulu. So the total size of this house is 3,900 square feet. It comes with 5 bedrooms and 4 bathrooms. Uh, as per see in the videos, there's a nice big living area and a big dining area as well with some outdoor spaces. And since it's a double-story bungalow, there's a very nice big family room upstairs as well. And the entire house is sitting on a 6,200 square foot land. Please comment down below if you have any interest to build a house. And that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.